Right, I'm back guys to Fog Entertainment and we're here with another movie review. We're in October, so why not do some more horror movies? We've kind of just been reviewing Saw anyway, but we're here with the third Saw. And this came out in 2006. People consider this like the end of like the original trilogy, right? And the people hold this movie in high regard. Well, it's been ages since I watched the third one. I've not really been a fan of it, right? And that is still the case. And there's one reason and one reason why. Well, basically one reason why. And it is this prick Jeff. Holy good fuck. You could not have got a worse character, right? I get it. His child died. But see these traps that the people are in, right? I don't even know how I'm going to refuse this. But it's kind of been more like a rant on the movie, right? Like... Literally every single trap is so... I'm not saying they're easy, right? Like, a lot of them, like, people are still going to get hurt regardless. But if this guy just sped up, or had a bit of fucking pace, pace about him, or a bit of speed, fuck me, like the first one with the woman who's frozen, fuck me, man. Yeah, she was a witness, she didn't testify, but it's not like... It's not like it was a couple of fucking gangbangers that, that shot his son. I mean, it was some guy who was drunk driving, right? And he, he ran over his son by accident, who looked like his son just went out into the middle of the road, right? So she didn't testify, but that justifies doing that to her? Letting her freeze to death? I mean, that'd be a fucking horrible death. And then he, he eventually does get the key, but it's far too late. Same with the judge trap. I mean, all he has to do is burn his child's possessions. I'm not saying, right, that that is going to be the easiest thing on God's green earth. But see, compared to the rest of these saw traps and shit, fuck me, it, it, it may as well be, you know. He eventually does free him, but how long it took him, like, the judge near suffocated in the amount of pig shit. And then we have the uh, the, the final trap that Jeff has to do, which is uh, with uh, Je uh, Jeremy, what's his name, Jeremy Young, is it? Or Timothy Young? Um, in the rack, which is, I think it's like the worst trap in the series, to be honest. It twists all his limbs one by one. I, I'm not saying, right, that it's the easiest thing in the world, Jeff having to take a bullet here, right, for the guy who killed his son. I, I, I get that, right? But it's like, Jeff did it without actually getting shot, so there was a way to do it. You know what I mean? And, but it's just like, the way the guy fucking hesitates. You know, I get it. This, this sort of situation would fuck you up mentally or whatever, right? I, I, I get that, you know? You would be fucked during it, after it, you know? But if this guy's had a bit of speed about him, you know, like, all this could have been avoided. But this rack trap, I stand by it. I think it's the worst one in the entire series. Each of your limbs, arm, over arm, leg, over leg, and then the final one, your head. Fuck me, man. Holy fuck, the pain this guy would have been going through. The judge ends up getting killed here. But Jeff then makes his way to his final test, which is confronting Jigsaw, Lynn... And Amanda. Oh, but wait, we need to get there first. But yes, we did kick off the movie with a trap with Troy. He's basically got all these rings attached to him. And that th this room r reminds you of prison, brother. You, you, you've been given a advantage life, but you keep on winding back in there. But basically, the whole gimmick is here is that this trap was inescapable. Even if he got the, the ring out of his mouth, the door was welded shut. We get introduced here to Detective Hoffman. And like, the way this guy was played here, I mean, it's fucked. Obviously, at this point, you didn't know he was, like, what, an apprentice, but fuck me, man, you would have thought. I don't know, just the way the guy comes across, like, you know, and uh, then we get Carrie. She ends up getting abducted by Amanda, putting another escapable trap here. Um, obviously, by this point, Detective Matthews has been missing a while, and that's basically her whole gimmick, but I... So, yeah, no find Detective Matthews. Carrie dies. She actually manages to do the trap, but obviously, because it's inescapable, she ends up dying. Then, basically, the game is put into play... Like, it's like, it's weird, like, the, the actual proper game of this movie doesn't start, like, 40 minutes in. We've got Lynn, who it turns out to be the wife of Jeff. She is abducted and forced to keep Jigsaw alive. She's got a shotgun collar in there. Basically, a lot of this movie is just gross fucking brain surgery. You know, a lot of jobber shite like that. And then, like, it's, like, so stupid. It's, like, look at the amount of people that had to be kidnapped for this game to take place, right? And then, the, then you've got to factor in that Saw 4 takes place at the same time as this which is just like fuck how the hell did um, amanda and hoffman kidnap all these people and set up all these games for like to take place within like a two hour period when you think of it like that it's completely fucking retarded like but jeff he makes his way in amanda's like fucking man you, you're a murderer john um amanda shoots lynn 
Uh, then Jeff shoots Amanda, she dies, Jigsaw's like, you failed your test, he's, meanwhile he swallows a play me tape, it'll be played in the next one, um, and then, basically what happens here is, uh, John says to Jeff, he's got one more game left, but if he, if he decides to kill him, he'll never find out where his daughter is, but if he doesn't kill him, he will, and he can play another game, and that his wife will be rescued, because he'll phone for an ambulance, but obviously, because the heartbeat hangs connected to John, she ends up dying because Jeff slits John's throat on the bed, which I thought was a pretty um, funny scene. John like laughing at him, <laughs> like "Yes, you failed, motherfucker." So why Jeff using the circular slaw slaw saw ends up just slicing J Jigsaw's throat, and then obviously uh, Lynn dies, and then you ever kind of like, "Oh, what the fuck?" Loads of characters just died here, but it makes a bit more sense in the fourth and beyond. But I just think this I think this movie's a clusterfuck, and I'm not saying not like it's not like like a lot of these movies are. But I don't know, there's just something off about this. The pacing is fucking all off, like, it really is. And then, like, Jeff's just, I don't know, like, his whole fucking arc is just shit. But anyway, guys, I really did not enjoy this. It was alright, but I just feel like there's so many flaws. I mean, flaws, it's just, the first two are much better than this. And I even think, fuck, I would never have put this one as, like, the worst Saw movie. I guess we'll find out as I review them over the, the course of this month. But yeah, guys, I did not really like this one. I'll give it a 5 out of 10. It was alright, but compared to the first two, it's fucking nowhere near.